Hello. In this lesson, I'll talk to you about why you would want to study information technology. I'll talk about some of the market factors that make information technology such an important subject and why you'd want to study the subject. So let's go ahead and get started. So why study information technology? You are part of the most connected society of all time. The amount of interaction we have with computer systems in our daily lives has grown, grown dramatically over the last few years. Particularly with younger generations, computers are used by most people throughout their daily routine. In fact, information technology touches almost every aspect of our lives. Most workers today interact with computers as part of their jobs. Even personnel that don't work in an IT position generally depend on information systems to perform their job functions in some way. Even if you're not intending to become part of the IT industry, having a basic knowledge of information systems and information technology will help you become an informed user. Informed users make better choices and become more valuable to the company. If you're intending to become part of the IT industry, there are currently many career opportunities for a wide variety of jobs. In fact, many areas of, of the world there is a shortage of qualified personnel to fill available IT jobs. Having a basic understanding of information technology is a critical first step in becoming a skilled IT worker. Even if you don't work in an IT company or an organization, you'll have projects and, and operations and at some point it's likely you'll, you'll become involved with those projects. Again. Having a basic understanding of information systems will help you become a more effective team member in these projects. Computing has changed dramatically over the last few years and devices that were only science fiction 10 or 20 years ago are now commonplace. One term that defines the modern computing world is ubiquitous computing. That is computing that is made to appear anywhere at any time. Most people in developed countries in the world now have multiple computer devices such as cell phones, tablets, wearable devices, desktop computers, and other types of systems. In addition to this, there are many smart devices on the market as well and the list of these is growing every day. Many computer systems now work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. This has created a large demand for data center personnel to maintain these types of systems. As the number of devices that are also coming online through a new technology called Internet of Things, this allows computer systems to control a large variety of devices from things such as kitchen appliances, lights, manufacturing equipment, and all sorts of other types of devices. This is also causing a large demand for software and commercial control systems to run these devices. Younger generations have grown up with this technology and have developed a lifestyle around mobile devices and the internet. All of this is causing a large demand for information technology developers, programmers, and services. The market for information technology systems is enormous. As of 2016, there are over 2 billion smartphones in use worldwide. In addition, uh, as of 2008, at, uh, I'm sorry, 2013, 80% of U.S. households had a personal computer. These statistics wouldn't have been imaginable 30 years ago. In addition, the price of computer hardware has dropped dramatically, so now devices are becoming more and more affordable as the prices of hardware continues to drop. Due to this large market demand, IT companies have grown considerably. Google, Apple, and Microsoft are now three of the top valued companies in the world. IT services and software development make up a large portion of our economy. With all of this growth and demand, there's a great opportunity for information technology workers. In many areas of the world, there's a shortage of personnel and filling jobs is difficult. To fill these shortages, there's been a rise in private training programs such as IT boot camps. In addition, pay for computer programmers and inform information technology workers remains relatively high. In fact, computer programmers make an average salary of $84,360 in 2015. I should note that this is uh, from an article I found on U.S. News and it's based for U.S. workers only. Salaries are highly dependent of the part of the world you're living in as well as the part of the country you live in as well. So 
Even as salaries are lower in other parts of the world, the demand for computer programmers and information technology workers remains strong. And so even if you're not intending to become an information technology worker, being an informed user will help you in today's society. All companies and organizations have basic information technology systems and operations, and having a basic understanding of information technology will help you in your daily job. In addition, the world is rapidly changing. News outlets and the way information is being distributed has changed dramatically due to new technology. Remote workplaces are now becoming more commonplace and workers now routinely telecommute from their homes to work. New computer devices are being introduced at a rapid pace and technology continues to evolve. Companies and organizations must commit to continued training to help their workers stay up with this new technology. In summary, the IT business is growing at a rapid pace and presents great opportunities for IT personnel worldwide. Technology is changing constantly and new products and services are being introduced daily. Being an informed user is a must in today's world. Having a basic understanding of technology will help you uh, in your career no matter which direction you're taking. I hope this lesson has given you some motivation to understand the importance of studying computer science and information technology in today's world. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.